what's going on guys Mike here today is going to be our post race review from Henry County Motorsports Park we ran both winged and non wing races what we ended up doing is we ran the wing we ran a heat and a feature with the wing and the non wing because the wings are a bit to take off on and off the car so we only ran the non wing feature and the non wing feature we ended up finishing third could have had a second place but I ended up screwing that one you blew it uh, allowing a guy to get underneath of me which ended up taking second but the top three I'll take considering this is only the second event out with this car and uh, still trying to figure things out we're not too good with the wing I think we finished seventh or eighth with the wing on it uh, I'll show you a couple of things that we noticed was happening with the car and just in general how it went all right start off the first thing I want to go over is tires this is the right rear I ran on my car the whole night. And halfway through the race, the tire bit good. It was really good, really good tire, a bit real nice. Halfway through the race, I started losing side bite on this tire on the car. So I still had very good forward drive. I was just losing side bite. After looking at the tire, if I can show it on camera here, I destroyed the outer edge. I've lost my sharp edge in my tire. So what it was allowing me is it wasn't getting that side bite, that grip or lateral, I believe it's lateral grip uh, coming out and going in. So it was causing me to slide up. So if you look at this end, it's kind of like blistered up a little bit. And you go to this end, you clean the dirt out of it. See how this end is very sharp. It's got a nice point to it, which this doesn't. And it's the same with the front. My front of the block here is rolled back. It's smooth compared to having the edge on it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'll grind it and then I will take the tire and flip it around. So there's a point and then it's rounded over. So we definitely use the tire. There's still plenty of life left in it. I'm gonna rotate, flip this tire around. Hoosiers, you can do that. So we'll flip that one around. But on that though, that tire did work. That compound, that was an RD12, so it is a soft Hoosier. This one here is a RD12 too. We had no problems with this tire, except for the only our problems that we created. So if you look at this tire, it's got like chunks missing out of it. Big, large chunks both on the inners as well as the outers. Like this is the worst here, right? We just chewed this up. I mean, there's still block left in it, but this is gonna be a practice tire. I mean, we just chewed it up terribly. So what ended up happening was, if you look at my Nerf bar here, how it's all smashed in, I took a hammer to this to clearance this. What was happening is when the car winged over, car lean, when the car wings over and leans over to the left, when this tire was up here in race position, Okay, this tire ends up being way up here. And this tire lands right in line with that bar when this car yields over. So this bar was hitting this tire, killing our momentum coming out of the corner as well as going through the corner. So as a quick fix, I smashed it in thinking I had enough clearance. Well, I did not still have enough clearance and we ended up doing this in the feature for the winged race, which cost us basically a decent finishing position for wing. Engine temp never got over 208 degrees. Beating, banging on it, engine temp stayed around 200 degrees. That was great. Shocks. We didn't do anything with our shocks. We ran all of our shocks. Basically, we left them the way they were factory. We ran them soft. It worked out good. Uh, the only problem I did have on one of the shocks, which the screw came out of it, on my left rear shock, I went to go adjust it, and my screw vibrated out. So I couldn't, I lost my knob, my shock adjuster knob. But this is nothing, just get a new knob, put the screw through it, no big deal. I take all these shocks off of the car each race and I go through them, I lubricate all the joints on the car. Every single joint on the car is lubricated with WD-40 and it's cleaned. Left front brake, I love this brake. 
on a track where you want to hug the bottom, this left front brake is a lifesaver. You could throw it in quick, stab the brake, and my left front brake comes on before my rear brakes. So what it was doing, it was throwing the car in and planting it for me. So this is definitely, in my opinion, a well worth investment is going with a left front brake setup. And as earlier, I was talking about rear end gear and stuff like that. We had that RTS carrier. Now I went and got a hyper carrier and I want to get a couple more of these. So that way at the track, I don't have to undo all these nuts and bolts. I can literally just slide a new gear on. And that's exactly what we did at the track. We had the gear changed and the motor adjusted less than five minutes. If that was my older car, that would have never happened. Other than that though guys, that is our post race review from our last race. The car itself was great. I love this car wing, wingless. It's fun. Everyone that we raced with was really respectful. This car never got touched on the track. I mean, we were sliding back and forth. We were doing some pretty good intense racing. It was fun. We never touched. I, I appreciate that so much and that everyone had a good time over it. There was no drama. It was a nice time at the track. It worked out really well. I don't have to put bumpers on the car. I don't have to put none of that stuff. I don't have to put a whole front end piece on it. You know, I don't like doing that. That costs money. When you can put the car back on the trailer, no damage, that's a good night of racing. I'll take that any night. Other than that though, guys, thanks for watching. Our next race is probably gonna be Henry County again. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to dictate what we're going to do. If we go to Hendry County again and we ended up doing good, like a top five, we may continue running Hendry and throw a couple Marion County races in there. Uh, so probably next race will be Hendry County. And after Hendry, we may go up to Ocala, Florida and run Marion County Speedway and run up there because the tracks are somewhat similar. Uh, I think, believe Marion, Marion is tighter. The Bullring is a tighter track, but it's about the same length. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.